Hey y'all, and welcome to another story time with Mr. Denby. Have you ever heard of a place called France? What about Paris, France? That's the most popular place. Anyway, today's story is about a place in France called Chateau de la Land. And we're going to talk about Aloysius the Ram, who lives in Chateau de la Land. Get ready. Aloysius the Ram decided today was a glorious day to run off for a play. His plan was quite simple to achieve his escape. He charged at the entrance and shattered the gate. Uh-oh. Look like he's going to get into some trouble today. What do you think? <laughs> he sped round the chapel and under the line where laundry was hanging on fine woven twine. Pink. Pink silky bed sheets, now tattered and torn, were furling and curling around his right horn. Uh oh. He tore the sheets off the line. Oh no. Into the shadow he darted and dashed. Curtains went flying and porcelain crashed. Bundles of baguettes and batches of brie were blended right into a big pot of tea. Oh, no. He mixed up everything. He's messing up everything. He raced through the hallway. He fractured the chairs, charged around the corner, and sprung up the stairs. He splintered a closet of garments and gowns, Costumes, wigs, and jewel-covered crowns. He being bad. He need to stop, think, and breathe and make the right choice. <laughs> Aloysius then paused. Was that chirping he heard? Wound up and singing was Flappy the Bird. Flappy Bird sang out the loudest of tweets as her cage was wrapped up in the pink silky sheets. Tway, tway, tway. <laughs> Out to the fountain and under the spout, he scuffled with swans who were swanning about. The flurry and fluster created a flood and soon all the courtyard was covered in mud. Oh, no. Into the garden, he recklessly rushed. Carrots were trodden and roses were crushed. Tangled tomatoes twisting with beans, mashing of pumpkins, and tossing of greens. He is making a mess, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Aloysius the Rams bellowing bleat trumpeted mayhem in the artist's retreat. Doodles were rammed into pallets of blue. Easels were skittled and paintbrushes flew. Oh, no. Y'all, he probably finna make a bigger mess. <laughs> but then, a peacock named Thor, strutting nearby, observed this destruction and sighed, My, oh, my. This rampaging ram lacked grace and lacked charm. I will screech, I will squawk, and I will raise the alarm. Look at that peacock. Squeak, screech, squawk. She's going to tell somebody. She's going to let people know. Quick as a flash, 
from the chateau's right wing, a hero appeared with a bright tartan grin. Aloysius, he hollered, you are making me cross. I'm Scott Man the Brave, and I'll show you who's boss. Uh-oh. That means he's getting angry. That's when, that, when somebody says, you're making me cross, that means I'm getting angry. So you better, mm -mm, let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Aloysius declared, you are no match for me. As he polished his horns, took aim at his knee. But Scotman just whirled and twirled in a spin as those horns thundered past and head-butted the bend. Ouch! He tried to head-butt Scotman. But Scotman moved out of the way and he head-butted the bend. Uh-oh, Aloysius is being very bad. <laughs> Al Aloysius looked a sight. His big woolly tongue was tangled with vines and the pink silky sheets that he tore from the line. The teapot, the feather, and the wig were askew and his vision was blurry from splatters of blue. The mud on his hooves was slowing him down, and he skidded on jewels that he dropped from the crown. And as for Flappy Bird, her loud chirping tweets were muffled and din of the banging of the baying and bleats. Tweet, tweet, bleat, bleat, bad, bad. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a mess. The mayhem abated. He slowed and then paused and proudly assessed all the mess he caused. Look at it. The turmoil is over. It's time to behave. I've whistled for help, declared Scotman the Brave. From niches and nooks, they swiftly appeared. Some ran about, some loudly cheered. Their skill was apparent. They were quick and were shrewd and were trained to restrain any sheep in a mood. I'm feeling quite weary, Aloysius revealed, then bleated and bad, and returned to his field. Now he calls, look at all of those people <laughs> from the chateau to come help. Back in the paddock with his family of sheep was Aloysius the ram curled up fast asleep. <laughs> oh. The end. Apparently, the author told me that there is a real ram named Aloysius that lives in the chateau. So this is kind of a true story. You know, it's a story about a real person, but it might not be a true story. Mm -hmm.